We're there by it's fixing Gado. So as I earlier mentioned, we will be talking about uh, the issue of opinion polls with just five days to go. Some were released yesterday, very different numbers we are getting. We seek to understand why the figures are different, what kind of methodology were used, and what impact will, will this have on the Kenyan electorate with just five days to go. Remember, just about two weeks ago, the undecided voters were about 5%, and now it's gone down to 2 percent Two percent. So the latest, latest opinion polls are placing both President Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga neck to neck in the race to State House. Polling firms Ipsos and Infotrack results uh, from the latest opinion polls uh, show uh, very different figures. But uh, our in-house researcher Jewel Kiringi will take us through some of these uh, figures just before we get to that conversations with the men who are at the center of the research firms in the country that are conducting this opinion polls. Jewel, always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much, Akisa. Yes. So today we'll take a look at uh, the Ipsos poll that was released yesterday. Uh, that was basically showing that uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta mm -hmm. is leading the presidential race yes. with 47% uh, and followed closely by uh, Honorable Raila Odinga mm -hmm. at 44 percent. Now, two weeks earlier, Ipsos had also released another poll that showed President Uhuru Kenyatta at 47 percent mm -hmm. and Raila Odinga at 43 percent. Yes. Now, the undecided remained at 5 percent. Mm -hmm. So, what we can tell from these results uh, is President Uhuru Kenyatta maintained his share of support. Mm -hmm. Though uh, President uh, Honorable uh, Raila Odinga, Odinga yeah. has gained one percentage, one percent point mm -hmm. uh, from the last two weeks. That's according to Ipsos. That's according to uh -huh. Ipsos. Okay. But then Infotrack also released another opinion poll mm -hmm. yesterday, uh, and and this one is slightly different, uh, where we have President Uhuru Kenyatta polling at 48 percent mm -hmm. against Honorable Raila Odinga's 49 percent. Mm -hmm. Now two weeks earlier. Uh, Infotrack showed that um, President Uhuru Kenyatta had 46 mm. percent yeah. against uh, Honorable Raila Odinga's 47 percent. Mm -hmm. Now, what's interesting about this uh, particular poll by Infotrack yeah. is the fact that the undecided voters have gone significantly lower in just about two weeks. In just about two actually, weeks, yes. So week. that can yeah. basically. Um, articulate why we, we are seeing these differences in the percentage points. Mm -hmm. Now, um, from these polls, we can, we can infer that for any one of the candidates, that being President Uhuru Kenyatta and Honorable Raila Odinga, to win this race, mm -hmm. then they need to win over the undecided voters. Yes. Because we can see we have a very small margin up to the 50% plus one vote mm -hmm. mark. Um, another thing will be uh, which of these candidates manages to win over their supporters from one camp to another, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the turnout of the particular strongholds. Mm -hmm. uh, from the inf uh, uh, if you compare the two, we have President Uhuru Kenyatta at 47 uh, by Ipsos yeah. and Infotrack at 48%, at uh, while we have Honorable uh, Raila Odinga at 44% of mm -hmm. Ipsos against Infotrack's 49%. Uh, for Ipsos, they say the undecided voters remain at 5%, mm -hmm. but then Infotrack shows at 2.2%. Mm -hmm. So um, what we can uh, tell also from the Infotrack poll is they say President Uhuru's Kenyatta's strongholds are in a central province, yeah. northeastern province, and Rift Valley. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, uh, Honorable Raila, Raila Odinga, Odinga yeah. has support in all the remaining five regions, which are basically Nyanza, Coast, Eastern, Western, and Nairobi. So every, the, there's one question that comes up every mm -hmm. time we see these polls and yes. on, on, on Kenyans' minds. Is there a chance that any of the candidates will get to the 50% of the national vote plus one? Yes, I think uh, based on the undecided, mm. and that is one thing that both pollsters agree mm -hmm. on, they feel that there will be no runoff mm. to this election and that uh, by the time August 8th comes here, mm -hmm. All these undecided voters will have put their, <laughs> their vote behind they would have one decided, of the two. They, they would have, have made decided. up their mind. But it's like five days. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, and interesting also to yeah. add, there was a research that was done recently mm -hmm. by Tuaweza East mm -hmm. Africa. 
and uh, basically uh, checking what is the most serious problem mm -hmm. affecting Kenyans mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. And uh, interesting also to point out, the high cost of living in 2015 was only polling at 19%, mm -hmm. but this year it's at 40%. Mm -hmm. So we can tell that Kenyans are making largely their yeah. voting decisions based on what they feel mm -hmm. uh, each of these candidates will do about the economy. Mm -hmm. In comparison to corruption, that was at 31% yeah. in 2015, but is now only a um, paltry 10%. All right, and gladly we have Victor Atang here from exactly. Tuaweza, so we will be seeing whether um, from their polls, some of these reasons that Kenya say are the biggest problems, whether they affect these numbers we're getting from opinion polls. Jewel, always a pleasure to have you, you here. As we take a look at the numbers, we're just five days and five nights uh, to the general election. Well, my panel is ready as well, so we could as well get into that particular discussion. 